So if you wish to continue your practice and move on to the more dynamic uh, vinyasa flow, then come and stand to the very top of your mat, having your feet hip distance apart. Take an inhale, reach your hands up, ground the feet down. And then use your right hand to grab the left wrist. You take an inhale and then you lean over towards the right, letting the left hip move out towards the left, stretching, breathing, grounding down. Let the inhale take you back to the center and then the exhale, you move to the other side. So switching the hands, left hand grabbing the right wrist. Use the inhale to come back to the center and the exhale, your elbows are bent, hands lower. Inhale at the center and then use the sizzling breath to twist out to the right. Inhale, back center. Exhale to the left. Keep the feet grounded, navel working. Inhale and sizzle, sizzle, sizzle out. Shh. Inhale, center and shh. to the left. Back at the center, you cross your left arm over the right. Inhale, leaning back. Exhale, folding forward. Eagle arms pressing the palms together. Feet are grounded and knees can be bent. Then the inhale, bent knees come back up to the center. Switch the cross, so bring the hands wide. Right elbow over left. Palms come together. Inhale, slightly leaning back. Exhale, sizzle out when you come to the forward fold with bent knees, letting the head hang. Inhale, back up. And then this time, interlocking the hands behind your back. Again, deep breath in. And then exhale, sizzle it out one time. Let the head hang. Shoulders stretch. Knees can be bent. Feel the soles of the feet. Steady long exhale out. Beautiful. Bend the knees, lower the hands. Then take your hands onto the shins. Use the inhale to move halfway up. And then exhale, lowering back down. Remember, knees can bend. Two more times. Inhale, reach the spine tall. Exhale, keep the length in the spine as you fold, tuck the chin. Now one more time, inhale, and exhale, empty out completely as you exhale, tucking the chin in. Now your fingertips come on the mat, feet are on the top of the mat, and then step the right leg back. The knee comes down on the mat, untuck the toes, come into your lunge by bringing the hands up, tuck the tailbone under so you feel your navel center switching on, soften the shoulders, and then tuck the toes under, lift the back knee up, lift yourself halfway up, navel works, and then lifting yourself all the way up. Again, the tailbone moves down towards the floor, pubic bone moves up, so your navel center is active. Use the exhale to come halfway forward and reach the hands back, inhale, coming back up. Exhale, come forward, halfway, and inhale, coming back up. This time, exhale, come forward, place the hands on the mat and step the right leg in. Use the inhale to lengthen the spine and exhale to refold into Uttanasana. Same thing, left leg. So left leg back, knee comes on the mat. Use the inhale to lift into your low lunge. Again, your navel gently working, your shoulders soft. Let the left hip drop. Good. Feeling the stability here. And then bring the hands down, making preparations for high lunge. So knee lifts, navel works. You can lift halfway up and then all the way up. Rebend into the front knee, move the back heel back. And then come into the core strengthening flow. So you come on the exhale halfway forward navel switches on back of the neck is long hands reach back and inhale brings you back up exhale come forward 
feel the navel. Inhale up strongly rooted in your feet. Exhale forward, hands down. And this time, you step back into downward facing dog. Legs hip distance. Heels down towards the mat. Knees can be bent so that you feel your spine long. Feel the downward facing dog. Start to switch the thighs on. Grounding through the palms of the hands. Nice. And then come forward. Shoulders on top of the wrists to plank pose. Lower the knees down if you need to. Otherwise, stay in plank. Feel and hug the core muscles in. The tailbone tucks under. The thighs are working. And then move back to downward facing dog. So remember, you can always bring the knees down. Now lift your right leg back and up. Grounding the hands. Keep the hips square for now. Toes facing down. And then draw the knee to your chest and nose towards the knee. Inhale, reach. Exhale, hug it in, move the shoulders forward on top of the wrist. Inhale, reach. Exhale, drawing it in, feel the navel. And then step the right leg between the hands softly. Ground the back heel down into your warrior one. So the toes point forward, the left hip forward, Bend into the front knee, activating the navel. And then lower the hands like we've been doing into the cactus arms as you exhale. And then all the way do your back. Interlock them, reach the hands away from the lower back, heart forward. And then as you exhale, you bend forward inside your right knee. So head drops and the hands move away from the lower back. So deep into your hips. Lower the hands down. Lift the back heel up. And then I come into a twist. So with the left hand under my shoulder, the right hand can stay on the right knee or lift up towards the ceiling. A few breaths here. Lower the right hand down and just step back to downward facing dog. Come forward to plank as you inhale. If you need to, knees down to take the belly down on the mat. And then lift yourself to Shalabhasana. So move the hands back, the shoulder blades down, lift the feet off the mat, spread the toes, point the pole of the foot away, keep the back of the neck long. Replace the hands then under your shoulders, tops of the feet down on the mat for Cobra. And then use the exhale, navel center working to lift yourself back to downward facing dog. Left leg lifts, left legs hugged, hugs to the chest, nose to knee. Two more. Inhale, reach. Exhale, squeezing the knee to the chest. Left leg back, squeeze it in, hover for a moment. And then step the left leg softly between the hands and get ready for warrior one. Back heel comes down rounding the little toe side of the foot and then rebending into the front knee. So remember the right hip turns forward towards the front of the mat. Yes, navel works, back of the neck is long. Now use the exhale to bring the elbows down, shoulder blades down, puff your heart a little bit and then move the hands onto the lower back, interlocking them. And then use the exhale to come forward into a hip opener so you bring yourself inside your left knee hands move away from the lower back ground the back heel down and come as deep into the hips as you can use the exhale to release so your hands come down back heel lifts up and into a twist with the right hand under your shoulder left hand on the left thigh or reaching up towards the ceiling so keep reaching the right heel away lengthening through the spine and then exhale 
Left hand comes down and this time you step to the top of the mat, hands on the shins, lengthen away from the thighs as you inhale and then forward fold Uttanasana for exhale. Sit your buttocks low, keep the buttocks low but as you inhale lift the torso into chairs. Exhale, bring the torso on the thighs, reach the hands back, back of the neck long. Inhale, come up. Exhale, torso on the thighs, hands back. Inhale, lift the torso away from the thighs. Exhale, come forward. And then inhale, next time coming all the way up. Palms together in front of the heart, stepping the feet together. So inhale, reach the palms up. And exhale, folding forward. Inhale, lift away from the thighs. Exhale, right leg back. As you inhale, come up into a high lunge. Stay for an exhale. Take one more inhale here, reaching the heart up. And as you exhale, step into downward facing dog. Move to plank pose as you inhale. And then exhale, coming all the way down on the mat. Inhale, lifting into your cobra, so shoulder blades down. And exhale, back to downward facing dog. Lift the right leg up and back as you inhale, and then step it between the hands as you exhale. High lunge for inhale. Stay as you exhale. Take one deep inhale, and then lower hands and step the left leg in. Take an inhale to lengthen, exhale, refold. Come all the way back up as you inhale, palms in front of heart as you exhale. Left leg, inhale up. And exhale, forward fold, empty out. Lift away from the thighs. And as you exhale, left leg back. High lunge, ground down using your exhale. Take one more inhale. And then as you exhale, use the exhale to move the downward facing dog. Forward to plank for inhale. Exhale all the way down on the mat. Into a cobra. Inhaling. Downward facing dog. Exhaling. Left leg lifts back and up. Inhale. Step it between your hands. Exhale. Inhale. Lift to high lunge. Exhale. Ground. Inhaling. And then exhale, bring the hands down, step the right leg forward. Again, one more inhale here to lengthen and exhale to fold. Inhale, come all the way up, reach it up. Exhale, hands in front of heart. Nice. So ground the feet down. And now bring your right ankle over the left knee. And then sit back into your chair, drawing the right toes towards the right knee to protect the right knee. So stay here or wrap your left elbow around the sole of the right foot to come deeper, if that works for you. Now grab your right big toe with your peace fingers and come back up, hugging the knee in. So you can stay here. You can extend your knee straight or you can keep the knee slightly bent. Just choose what works for you. Grounding down through the left leg lift the right left hand up move the left hand out towards the left and then the right leg either straight leg or bent leg out towards the right so balance focus your drishti and then come back to the center hugging the knee in so you let go of the big toe and then bring the right leg down to the mat inhale lift exhale fold lift away from the thighs as you inhale and send your left leg back as you exhale. Bring the left knee to your mat. Come into a twist by bringing the left elbow around the right knee. Hands in Namaste, back knee down or lift the back knee up if that feels stable enough. Extend the spine as you inhale. And then twisting deeper as you exhale. Now bring the hands down. We come to warrior two. So you ground the back heel down, position your legs so your front heel aligns with the inner arch. As you lift up, bend into the right knee so the right knee goes where the middle toe is pointing. 
Sit as deep as you can, keeping the shoulders on top of your hips. Move the tailbone down so the navel center is active. Your next inhale takes you to extended warrior, sometimes called peaceful warrior. And then exhale into side angle pose, bringing your right elbow and your right knee or fingertips on the mat. Keep extending the left fingers away from the left heel and rotating the chest up towards the ceiling. Left shoulder blade down along the back. Inhale it back to your warrior two and then move the back foot heel toe it a little bit closer for Trikonasana. So extend through the right side of the rib cage and then moving the right hand down, left hand up. Find again that rotation of the chest up towards the ceiling but keep tucking the tailbone under. Then bend into the right knee, bring the hands down and step back to downward facing dog. An optional vinyasa to come forward to plank pose, lower halfway or all the way down and then into upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. It's grounding down. And then let your next inhale lift the left leg up. Exhale, step it between the hands. Inhale into your lunge and then exhale, hands in namaste. Lean halfway forward. Navel works. You can reach the hands back or you can keep them in namaste in front of your heart. And then stay here or start to balance on your left leg coming to warrior three, right leg parallel. And then inhale, bring your right knee to your chest, come all the way up. And exhale, your back into dasana. And then the left ankle comes across the right knee, sitting into your chair. And an option was to hug that foot into the crease of your right elbow to sit a little bit deeper. Interlock your fingers, your left fingers around the left big toe. Either bent knee or straight leg, finding your balance and crowning the sole of the right foot down, navel lifting up. Right hand moves up towards the ceiling and then out towards the right. And then move your left leg out towards the left. Again, the knee can be bent or straight. And then come back to the center, hug the knees in, knee in again, and then step the left leg down on the mat. Inhale, lift. Exhale, you fold. Inhale, lift away from the thighs. Send your right leg back as you exhale. Coming into the twist. So start with the back knee down to really get your right elbow around the left knee and then choose whether you lift the back knee up or not. Hands in Namaste in front of heart. Inhale, extending the spine and exhale, keeping the length but softening the shoulders. Now look down. Warrior two, so place the back heel down. See if you can move straight into the warrior. So extending the, bending into the left knee, left knee out towards the little toe side of the foot. Ground down. Sit deeper with your hips. And then into the peaceful warrior with the right hand on the right thigh, left hand reaching up. And then as you exhale into Parasvakanasana with the left hand on the left thigh or fingertips down on the mat, keep hugging the left buttock under, left tailbone under and extending the right fingertips away from the right heel. Then let your inhale move you back into the warrior two and then extend the left knee and walk the right foot a little bit closer so you have your feet closer for Trikonasana. Hands come parallel. Inhale, lengthen through the left side of the body. So you're keeping the side body 
long and then bring the left hand down and the right hand up. So your tailbone still tucks and the ribcage starts to rotate up towards the ceiling. Look down, bend into the bottom knee, bring both hands on either side, lift the back heel up and then you come back to downward facing dog. Again, an option to move through a vinyasa, so through plank pose, either halfway or all the way down. Inhale into up dog or down dog um, or cobra, and then back exhale down dog. Right leg lifts as you inhale. Hug it to your chest and step it between the hands as you exhale. Into your lunge, hands in front of heart. Come halfway forward and your choice. Stay here. Or moving into warrior three so balancing on the right leg lifting the left leg toes down navel works and then hug the left knee back into your chest and step the left leg down onto your mat keep the feet hip distance or even wider hands on the hips first and as you exhale into your forward fold. So again, you can bend the knees and just hold your elbows. If you wanna come deeper, get that same peace fingers around your big toes, move the elbows apart, and then the shoulder blades up along your back. Your quadriceps, your thigh muscles are working. So you're drawing the knees up from the kneecaps. And then as you let go of your toes, walk the feet wider, coming into a squat. So you might need to rotate the toes out and bring something under your heels. Keep pressing your knees against your arms and arms back against your knees. And then release it onto the floor. So starting to wind down, lifting the buttocks away from the sitting bones, inhaling, lengthening, and then exhale, coming into your forward fold with the straight back. So again, the knees can slightly be bent, but try to avoid rounding the back. Use the inhale to lengthen, and then the exhale to keep that length in the spine, but soften the shoulders and the face and your jaw. And then come all the way up, Coming into the twist, so your left heel comes to the outside of the right buttock. The right hand comes in line with the spine and the left and elbow comes outside the right knee. Lengthening for the inhale. And then look forward, take one breath to the other side and then switch your legs around. So left heel outside the left buttock, right elbow outside the left knee for the twist. Rooting down, both sitting bones on the mat, heart lifts. Again, look forward, exhale, come out. Take one breath over to the other side. Beautiful. Reposition yourself back to the center. Namaste. Thank you.